welcome back to a radioactive scale RC and today we're going to do the first overview of the D90 uh, Heritage Edition build. Uh, I've been working on the body as you can see in front of you. I've got most of the body pretty much painted and ready to go and ready for assembly. Uh, just the interior left to do and that'll be uh, my next tackle is is detailing the interior But I just wanted to uh, put up a short video and give you guys an overview of where I'm at on the body uh, I did upload the uh, Part one and part two of the chassis build uh, part two uh, unfortunately didn't work out as I planned and uh, I lost all the audio on my clips, but uh, I was able to get uh, 15 minute video up anyways of the build and and use the footage at least uh, just didn't have any audio so yeah so this is where we're at with the uh, the body build as you can see uh, the colors that I went with um, I've got the can here so I went with the uh, Tamiya TS 78 so TS 78 and that is the field gray I uh, I really like this color I saw it on a few trucks uh, on YouTube uh, mainly RC girl had uh, an RC four-wheel drive trail finder 2 extended I think I think the the dual cab done in this color and I really liked it so I picked up uh, I should have picked up three cans I only picked up two um, it, it I recommend if you're gonna do this body that you get three cans of your main color if you're going with the Tamiya paints because they are small cans uh, it, it I got what I need to get done, but it was close. Uh, I, I just had enough to get done. Uh, I'll show you a few parts where I didn't get it uh, fully covered, which is it, it doesn't matter because it's going to be covered anyways. But yeah, so we've got uh, all the pieces put together or uh, painted, so and they are clear coated, so they're a matte finish. And I didn't use the Tamiya matte. I used um, Rust-Oleum matte clear. A uh, bigger can, a little bit cheaper, and I did a test on a smaller piece of the tree that I cut off and painted, and then uh, did a test on that, and it and it was fine. It didn't bubble the paint or anything, so so it worked out really well. So I was able to get all these pieces done uh, with one can. All the pieces, the doors, the hood, the grill, uh, and the doors, and the window covering, and the tailgate. So that was all in one can. So you don't get a lot out of one can, and that's uh, two light coats and one heavy coat, sanded in between each coat. But yeah, like I said, if you're gonna use these Tamiya paints, they're great paints, they spray beautiful. Uh, well ventilated area, they, they are quite uh, quite stinky and the vapor is pretty strong. So do it in a well vented area and make sure you get enough. If you're doing this body, uh, I recommend three cans of your main color just to make sure and you can get the whole uh, whole area of the body and I'll show you when I get to that uh, the areas that I didn't like underneath and, and on the inside where I wasn't worried about it so I'll, I'll get to that so three cans for sure so the doors uh, I didn't do the bottom parts of the door very heavily because they're going to be covered with the door panels from the interior I did make sure to get this area covered and uh, I matte finished that also so it matches the outside uh, the roof is done black and the black I used the uh, a Rust-Oleum 2x ultra cover paint and again it it sprays really nice it's a little bit cheaper for a larger can so all the black that I've used I've used that Rust-Oleum um, did the under I didn't clear it because it's not going to be seen so it'll it'll sit up in here and that's how uh, the basically the the off off uh, off color of the black I thought went really well with the uh, with the look of the truck. So I did the fenders also in black and the back of the the uh, tailgate area in black, and I'll show you that. Uh, hood hood is all done and turned out really well. Didn't get too many blemishes. You gotta be real careful that you don't get little fuzzies and hairs on your pieces when you're spraying. I got a couple, but nothing too major. I sanded most of them out uh, back. I got a little bit of the green on there. I didn't uh, clear coat it. Uh, I, I might go back and clear coat the back just uh, just because, or I might do it in black. So I might just leave it and then decide later to do it in black. Uh, tailgate is done nice and green. Uh, don't want to overspray this because of the indents. You'll start to fill all this in. So don't overspray. I did, like I said, two really light coats and then a, and a fairly heavy coat. The backside is black 
and use the same uh, rust-oleum to do the back and everything here is matte finished in the rust-oleum clear matte really good uh, I was quite surprised how well it went on and came out of the larger can sprayed really well didn't uh, run on me didn't bubble or get spots and spurts and to make to make it any difficult so it it was a perfect spray uh, three coats is what I sprayed most of the parts and they turned out really well so I also did the grill the grill comes in two pieces so this is the I've already got this attached uh, these two are separate pieces so I took this grill and lightly sanded it not not a whole lot because it is the same black here but I just lightly sanded it primed it and then uh, sprayed the green I wanted the green on there it'll sit in the truck like that so I wanted that to set off in the grill so yeah so the main body I will show you uh, the underneath didn't get much green because like I said I was really worried about running out so I wasn't too worried I did get in in these areas on the inside where you'll see it from inside the cap not a whole bunch but you'll see a little bit of it so I made sure to get the pillars uh, the cross member here uh, those items I made sure to get uh, all turned out really well I did put the, the gas can uh, in set there as a separate piece I uh, I did glue that in place before I painted so just be careful not to over spray in there I should have probably done it separate but I, I thought I'd put it in first and then you can sand off any of the excess glue marks uh, to make it smooth so just just to make note of that that you can do it um, with it off but I, I, I chose to put it on so I could get the excess glue sanded down uh, fenders all in, in the rust-oleum black and it's a flat black by the way uh, so I did those I had a little bit of run, a, f a few issues. Uh, I used a green uh, masking tape, a thin line masking tape. It didn't really uh, get what I wanted. So I did have a bit of bleed. I had to go back with a small paintbrush just to, to make it look a little bit better. The back is fully black. So I did all the back tape, masked out that and did the back uh, truck uh, bed black. And that's why I did the uh, tailgate in black also so it'll match when it's in there yeah so I, I'm really happy with it I did the bottoms uh, of the fender walls also in black just so you can you know it matches when you can see it from different angles so I did those in black and I cleared those also I matte finished those also got a little piece piece of tape there so that I taped all the holes here when I did the masking uh, to do the the black I taped all these holes throughout the whole body in the in the light buckets and everything and in the back light buckets I taped all those off so I didn't get any black spray coming out onto the green up in these areas here and uh, and in here I didn't want any of the black to come through those holes so I taped those all off with blue masking tape was the main mask I did for so I did the green first uh, pretty much left the the fenders untouched I didn't put a lot of, of the green paint on the fenders and then I did the uh, let that set and I didn't clear it I uh, let it set for I've been at this for five days now just just this body took me five days to get where I'm at now which is ready for assembly um, except for I, I've got light bucket uh, the the in, you know the lenses to, to paint with the the orange and the red clear and stuff like that I've got all that to do yet and I still have the full interior I haven't touched it and I am planning on detailing the interior I just haven't decided um, my paint colors yet for the interior I, I kind of wanted to incorporate some of the green and uh, unfortunately I ran out and I don't have a hobby shop here in where I live to just go pick up another can and they don't ship that stuff in Canada because it's hazardous uh, material so they won't ship it uh, they have it in stock, but it's a three-hour drive for me to go get a can of paint. So I'm going to look this weekend uh, downtown and see what I can find in the Rust-Oleum paints. Uh, I'm thinking uh, matte black is the main color and, and some type of green highlighting some parts on the dash and the seats. And uh, yeah, so that, that'll that'll come. Uh, we'll we'll do some video on that too when I get to that. But uh, the next step for me now is is starting to assemble. I'm following the book. And the next step is is to start working on the light buckets, get all the lights in, 
um, I, I can't move forward past the doors and stuff until I like I said I get the interior done because of the panels have to go on there but I can get the hood on uh, so some of the stuff done the interior can be added uh, later at the end so I'm gonna get some pieces put together and uh, get moving on throwing the body together yeah so hopefully you guys like what I'm uh, doing here with this truck and you like the color choices that I made I'm, I'm really like this green uh, my plan is to do uh, my first Tyrol Finder 2 when I finally get one uh, kit wise anyways uh, in the same color to to match this I really like this color so yeah so thanks to everyone that uh, is, is subscribing and everyone that is coming out to see my videos and I hope this is helping you with your build and giving you some ideas and inspiring you to do uh, one of these uh, heritage ed edition RC four-wheel drive D90s uh, I'm really enjoying this build like I said I'm five days six days into it including the chassis um, the painting takes a long time so have patience don't rush it take your time and you'll get a half decent finish uh, with what you are looking to get like I'm really happy the way it's turning out so far so yeah so thanks and stay tuned to future videos on this build uh, like I said the next will be uh, we'll do an overview once I get uh, some parts put on the, the light buckets and start putting her together and then we'll start working on the interior that'll probably be the last of the build is getting the interior done and Hopefully we can get that done in the next four or five days. I, I am on holidays now for a spring break for five days. So I'm just going to hammer away at this and get as much done as I can. So please come back. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, any ideas that you have for uh, additions to the truck that would be great I'm already looking for a new front bumper uh, I would like to get the roll bar for the back the snorkel I've been on RC four wheel drives website just kind of biting at the bit to pull the trigger uh, on a few extra upgrades for this truck so so yeah so let me know what you think in the comments give me a thumbs up click that bell if you're not a subscriber please subscribe if you like what you're seeing and uh, we'll see you at the next one when we uh, start to show you the progress on putting the body together so thanks for coming everybody uh, stay safe and uh, we'll see you at the next one cheers